Now, engineering services involve the creation of a process that solves a problem. So it may be coming up with a better system for um, traffic management. Um, so identifying ways of improving the drop-off process at the beginning of a school day or the pickup process at the end of a school day and how that might be better managed by, say, coming up with a system whereby students are arriving at school at different times. So it may be years one and two arrive at um, 8 a.m. and years three and four arrive at 8.30 and years five and six arrive at 9 a.m. So in order to alleviate that process. So these are the types of solutions that don't involve a physical product, but involve a service solution. Now, in years three and four, students again go through the processes and production skills. This time, however, they do have an investigating and defining stage where they explore the, the issues to do with their problem. So let's say they're looking at issues of a tuck shop and how long it takes to receive their lunches um, when they go up to the tuck shop. So they would investigate that process. So they'd go and find out how the, the meals are made at the tuck shop, how the tuck shop people know what the students have ordered or are selecting, um, why it takes a long time to get their change or to make the transactions, why certain foods have to be kept hot or cold. And they investigate the issue and then they define what the problem is. So the problem may be is that it takes a long time for the tuck shop staff to find out from a student what they've ordered and go and find their order and put it all together and then give it to the student so that they can then take it away and then serve the next student. So then students would go through a design process coming up with possible solutions to that. So one solution may be to have more aisles and more tuck shop workers. Another solution though might be to have an ordering system whereby someone goes around to each of the classes and takes students orders and then gives them to the tuck shop um, staff so that they know when students arrive what food they've already ordered and they can have it pre-prepared and ready to give to them. Another aspect might be to have different lanes for different classes. Um, so that that would facilitate those pre-prepared orders. So these are various solutions that students could come up with to the problem by thinking of service-based solutions. So it's not coming up with a new product, it's not building a new environment, it's a service solution. And ideally they will come up with lots of different designs, generate lots of different ideas. They would then plan out their design and articulate that. And then they would put it into practice. This is producing and implementing. So in this case, they may um, have the tuck shop people do these activities and then they would watch and see what happens and maybe take notes and use a timer and time how long various things happen. And this then leads into their evaluation stage, their testing and evaluation, where ideally they would measure what their solution has performed and compare it to what things were like before they had their solution. But the other key aspect is to look at what was defined as their problem. In their first stage, they define what the problem was, then they design a solution to that problem, they implement that solution, and now they test and evaluate to see whether or not that problem they identified and defined is actually solved. Very often students will come up with different solutions to other problems and not the one they actually set out to actually solve. Now an example of a service um, type problem is in the notes where students look at a theatre camp where some students may not be able to attend theatre camp so a service solution may be that the students design and construct a virtual theatre camp so that the students that aren't able to attend can um, work through the virtual camp and get a similar experience to those students attending the physical theatre camp as a solution to that particular problem. 
So this is the nature of service-based solutions, and they very often involve a lot of data collection and analysis of that as part of the evaluation process. And it's an opportunity to address some of those um, learning outcomes as well in terms of the content descriptors from digital technologies and from mathematics and other aspects. So you should always be looking for opportunities to integrate um, a whole range of different uh, learning outcomes, content descriptors, in any activity and project that the students work on. And of course, there is the collaboration and managing stage where students look at how effectively they worked as a team, how they could have improved things in terms of um, how long it took them to come up with their solutions, how the solutions use various resources or um, cost money, various other factors that they can think about in terms of improvements and sustainability of their solutions.